And welcome back folks. Welcome to the first video of our Ludum Dare game Marathon. Today we are playing Vanishing Point, which is a point and click adventure game. This game I chose um, because its title intrigued me and when I looked at the screenshots they also looked very appealing, as does the title screen. And so we're going to play it. Be warned, however, that it's very much unfinished. So it's, yeah. Which is to be expected, given the fact that it's a point and click adventure game, which you simply cannot, yeah, create in three days. Except maybe if it's a text only adventure game. But even then, it's very unrealistic. But we are going to play. Yeah, what we are given today. Um, there is no background music, only the title music, which is quite nice, but yeah. I would have preferred to have some background music rather, rather than having this title music. Anyway, we start off in this room with a mechanic who appears to be working on a machine that simulates night and day or it's not clear what this machine does the only thing that we can gather is that we all that our protagonist is also a technician yeah and the door is broken what is going on with this place hmm there has to be a way to get this the, this door back online so a small puzzle, um, ah shit, and this is one thing that's quite annoying about this game, um, that the transition to the next screen is triggered as soon as you stand close to the exit, which makes, which actually makes sense, but the point is that it's not triggered when your character goes off the screen say is at least halfway off the screen, but rather it's already triggered when your character just stands um, yeah, at the border. So he hasn't when he hasn't when he's still on the screen but yeah simply on the left or right border. Uh, which is a small difference in semantics, but yeah, it leads to a very frustrating game player experience. So I hope if they finish this game, and I hope they do, because I really like the art style, I hope that they fix this. Uh, anyway, so there's a little puzzle that we need to solve in order to be able to pass through the store. It is apparently a color mixing puzzle, the color mixing puzzle, because I... I think there's only one color mixing puzzle, yeah. So we need to produce purple by addit by additively mixing these colors here. Um, and you do this by mixing red and blue. The dialog system is broken, unfortunately, so um, it doesn't properly display um, this text this text and it also causes a drop in frame rate so that's some bug apparently anyway we have now unlocked the door and we get to the next screen where somebody is repairing a hmm, well some I would say some sort of bot on the next screen um, we find a tool shed, uh, sorry, tool, tool shed with a very, very strange um, wrench. A wrench that has the capability of being attached to the board and at the same time hover in front of our, of our character. Um, and when you take this wrench off the board, it now is behind our character. I think they just 
interchanged, yeah, maybe two, two Z values here or, or whatever. I don't think that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, anyway, we can put this in our inventory. As far as I can tell, there's at the moment there's no other use. There's no use for this wrench. You can only put it in your inventory and then, yeah, that's as far as they got. Um, which is still quite far because these backgrounds are very, they are beautifully drawn. Um, in fact, this game looks so beautiful that I sort of doubted initially that they would have created this game in three days, but I would give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm, I'm not saying that they didn't do that in three days. So um, we can now leave this facility, whatever this, whatever that was that we just left. And yeah, we can explore the outside. Um, there's not much, there's nothing actually to interact here with. Um, all these people are neither animated nor have any text dialogue. So we'll leave and um, and for some reason our character is now walking backwards. Ah, okay, if you So if you press the um, some control, I'm controlling this with the arrow keys, and if you press up, your character moves up but backwards, um, <laughs> which is a bit strange. I mean, anyway, um, yeah, we can walk up this little pathway and then. That's about, yeah, it. Um, that's as far as they've. That's as far as the developers um, have come. So it appears that um, there's a bridge that has been that is broken and that we need to somehow repair or find another means to get to this island that's floating in the sky. Um, I'd really like to explore this game further and see what happens next, but that's as, how, that's as far as you could play it at the moment. Um, yeah, I hope that they finish this game. I will put a link to this game in the description. Um, it's, it's a browser-based game, so you, can, you don't have to download anything on your computer. Um, yeah, if you want to check this game out, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you I see you in the next one. So the next time folks, until then.